Hello people of YouTube, it seems this time it works. This is the second try. And I do have sound. That is wonderful. Whatever. Okay. Uh, so, what did we say we do? We said we wanted to do more quests. Let's go talk to the... Um, <clears throat> Uh, tea house woman, the one that has the tea that owns the tea house wo owner. This chick. Hello, young one. My name is Quan, but everyone calls me Old Mother Quan. I'd like you to call me that too, okay? Welcome to my tea house. Oh, that's not right. No, not anymore. Sorry about the confusion, dearie. What I meant to say was. Welcome to Master Du Tong's tea house. Yes, yes, I owned the tea house for many, many years. At least I thought I did. But then Master Du Tong came to town with that imperial writ. Oh my, wasn't that a shock? Turns out his family owns this land. They have for hundreds of years. The land is his along with everything on it, so now he owns my tea house too. <coughs> he was nice enough to let me stay on here as a helper. I steep the tea. Yan Wan takes the orders, and Master Du Tong, uh, well, he mostly just drinks his wine. Does he now? Now, why would I do such a thing? I can't even imagine anyone being so horrible they'd forge an imperial writ. No, I'm sure the land belongs to Master Du Tong. I'm not. That is very nice of you, my child, but what could <coughs> you do? I would love to have my tea house back, but it belongs to Master Du Tong now. You can't argue with an imperial writ. Of course I can. I can beat All the shit out of him. All this talk is just the rambling of an old woman. Put it out of your head and enjoy yourself. It may not be mine anymore, but this is still a fine tea house. Hell to the no. Where the fuck is Du Tong? You're Du Tong. If you want tea, have a seat. The serving girl will be by directly if I don't fire her first, a useless wench. I should have replaced her the day I took over this tea house. Really? I am Three Sheets Duton, proud owner of this quaint little tea house. I recently acquired it from old mother Quan, the elderly lady steeping tea over there in the corner. Oh, certainly. The Imperial Red is 400 years old, and I just carry it around with me all the time and show it to complete strangers. Please. The writ is locked safely away, as I told Mother Quan. I'm not about to bring it out on your request. Now, if you will just leave me to my drinking. A truly horrible thing to say to me, especially when I'm sober. The very notion that I, Three Sheets Dutong, could do such a thing is, well, it is unthinkable. You want me to teach this troublemaker a lesson, boss? Don't be an idiot. You saw what happened in the fight with those sailors. I don't need you lying unconscious on the floor. That's my job. After Steeper Yanru brings me my wine. Your accusations grow tiresome, stranger. You have no proof that I cheated old Mother Quan, and I don't see any reason to continue our conversation. So thank you, and goodbye. Really? Oh, hell to the no. Why do you persist in troubling me? All I want is to be left alone with a steady stream of wine flowing my way. Is that too much to ask in my own tea house? Yes.
Oh, certainly. The Imperial writ is 400. The writ is locked. Really? I... I am Three Sheets Dutong, proud owner <coughs> of this quaint little tea house. I recently acquired it from old Mother Quan, the elderly lady steeping tea over there in the corner. I'd love to answer your questions, but that would interrupt my drinking. <laughs> I'm afraid that isn't acceptable. Yes, good. Go away. Okay, you shall be fucked with soon. Hello again, dearie. I hope you're having a nice time here in my... I mean, in Master Dutong's tea house. Oh, of course I do, dearie. It was all I ever had. No children of my own. But it's Master Dutong's tea house now. You can't argue with an Imperial writ, you know. Of course you can. Hmm. I don't want to ask a question. Be sure though. to have some tea before you go. I have a special blend that combines... Oh, I forgot. Master Dutong spilled wine all over it. I'm sorry. Never mind. Oh, Dutong, you son of a bitch. I really wish you'd let me beat the shit out of you. Hey, fool. Dutong says he hired me because I'm big as an ox and just as smart. Yeah, good job, moron. Nothing there? Cool. Old Mother Quan has nothing now. She should have grabbed herself a husband when she had the chance. My cousin disappeared last month. Nobody knows for sure, but I bet the pirates took him. Sure, dude, the pirates took your cousin. Yeah. Is, he was an important person. Very, very important. I may be drunk, but that doesn't mean I am a drunk. Because I'm not. Well, just a little bit. But I'm brave, too. I'm going to go close the great dam and save the town. You do that. I'll be a hero. Well, that'll show them. Well, that'll show them all. I just need another drink to get my courage up. Wine! Someone bring me more wine! You've been saying that for three days, Rue. Minister Shang's already looking for other people to close the dam, and you'll look a fool after all your boasts. I doubt that man could open a door, never mind a dam. Okay. Those sailors are the worst. They're rude and crude, and they don't keep their hands to them. Captain Ng says we can't come to the tea house, but I don't listen to him anymore. You bringing me a drink? No. Then go away. I heard the ruins are haunted by the ghosts of those who died in the flood. Oh, fuck you. I asked Du Tong for a job, but he's too cheap to pay for more than one waitress. Leave Zhang alone! Zhang, you can't stay up here forever. This isn't your home. You need to come back with me to the farm. No! Zhang not want to go home. Zhang doesn't want to see Ox. It wasn't your fault. It was an accident. I need you back at the farm. Now let's go, Zhang! No! Leave Zhang alone, or Zhang get angry and smash things! No, please don't, Zhang. I'll just go over here and leave you alone. What? Oh, hello there. Don't let Zhang bother you. He's really quite harmless. He's just a little... upset right now.
I am Dong Ping, Zhong's employer. Zhong works on my farm, but the other day he accidentally killed one of my oxen. And since then he has refused to come back. Some of the patrons here are unnerved by his size. I'm worried that if he doesn't leave with me soon, the owners may take matters into their own hands. If he gets hurt, or worse, I'll be ruined. I can't run the farm without him, but I don't know what else to do. He won't listen to me. You will? I must warn you. Zhang is, well, he is very strong-willed and very strong. I am grateful for your help, but please be careful. Zhang the ox carrier came by his name honestly. I would hate to see him hurt you or anybody else for that matter. Speak softly to him, and you should be okay. Sure, bitch. Go away. Zhang not want to speak to you. Zhang kill ox. Zhang too strong. Too rough with ox. Zhang not want to hurt ox. Zhang only playing. Now Zhang cries for ox. Ox like to play with Zhang. Ox like it when Zhang throw her in the air and catch her. Zhang missed. Zhang dropped ox on her head. Ox is dead. Ox was Zhang's friend. Zhang killed a friend and now Zhang is bad. Mm. Master have other ox. Master won't starve. Master better off without Zhang. Zhang is lonely. Ox must be lonely too. Maybe Ox will forgive Zhang and we be friends again. I will go and see. You have been nice to Zhang. Zhang like you. Zhang hope you have good day. Thank you so much. I was at my wit's end. You've done me a great service today. Come, Zhang. Let's go home. Zhang coming. Zhang go home now. Thank you for getting rid of that thing. Business is bad enough without that ogre scaring away my customers. Here's a little something to thank you. It's not much, but it's about all I can afford these days. Oh, you son of a bitch. Get back here, you motherfucker. Get back here. Son of a bitch. <coughs> Can't you just leave an old man in peace? Sorry doesn't count for much. Sorry can't erase our mistakes. Sorry can't change the past. The fuck are you? Nothing. It's not important. Not anymore. Just... just leave me alone. Are you retarded? Or something?
Ni wupa ia kupu sa ia awat kraka ia nano uksaro iso wak nikano wo napia shatia uko. Pia shatia kraka ia nano uksaro wo nofata se ia. Ika kahia wo no ka kike ia, wo shathia oka uke ia aya yuye wai. Wo so awi ia ni tu wo uksun puno. Bile of leopard. Piat shatia kraka ia nano uksaro wo nofata se ia. Wasraf no sositu no ko ota napia ifa ia ok. Dude, that's nasty. Wo kuke tita sumpono, sathwa kawi ia ifiak. Yeah, no. You bringing me a drink? No. Look at these town folk glaring at us. That waitress is a fine-looking wench, ain't she? Stuck in this backwater town, and the place doesn't even have a decent tower. How do I fuck with you, dude? Why do you persist in trouble? Uh. Yes? <clears throat> I'll probably talk to him later. I will, I will try to do it. I want to get the old lady her thing back, her tea house back, because I'm pretty sure that fucker's lying. Whoa, lag, lag, what the fuck? What the fuck? What just happened there? So much lag. So much lag. Lag! Okay, there are no people there. There's this dude, I forgot what I see you are still here, Honored One. I... Enjoy your... Okay, I forgot what the fuck he wants here. It doesn't matter. Ok, we will offer. San Casuir will will see your tana. Ah, fuck you with your tongue. Language. Whatever. Fuck it. Sailors. There's those two fuckers there. Hmm. Your move, old goat.
Who the fuck are you and what do you want? It is not easy to be Minister Shane, beset with troubles and doom and now interrupted by some difficult stranger. How the fuck do you know I'm difficult, bitch? You cannot see that I am busy watching my career slide into oblivion. Minister Shang simply hasn't time for your petty concerns. I have problems of my own. The Ministry of Harmony, which oversees taxation and execution, usually in that order. But poor Minister Shang oversees nothing in this dying town. Nothing but failure! This backwater pimple of a town lives off of the lake created by the Great Dam. But the Great Dam is open and the lake is dry. The town is dying. Under my supervision. I have nary a clue. Unless... Oh, very well, you've convinced me to talk. It is dangerous to say anything, but I am a brave man. It was that horrible Inquisitor, Lim. Lim oversees the Lotus Assassin operations in this area. A few weeks ago, he came to town and demanded a key to the ruins. Then his men went up there and opened the Great Dam. They're looking for my amulet. Inquisitor Lim has his assassin searching for something, though what it is I couldn't say. Minister Sheng knows better than to stick his nose in the business of the Lotus Assassins. I didn't want the town to panic, so I kept Lim's presence here a secret. Better the peasants think it was ghosts. A much less terrifying idea. <laughs> Some brave soul must travel through the old ruins, which are absolutely not infested with ghosts, and close the great dam. The gate to the ruins is locked, but I have a key. I cannot order or even ask someone to go do this. If the Great Dam closes, the ruins will flood. Various assassins and soldiers will be killed. Not good for my career. But if I happen to lose the key and someone happened to find it, the town could be saved and the problem solved without any sanction from me. <laughs> what are you talking about? I haven't given you anything. Although I will need that back when you're done. Oh, and I am certainly not going to tell you that the ruins can be reached by heading across the footbridge and out the west gate of town. It wouldn't be proper. Not for me, certainly, because I never ask you to do anything, right? Now, I happen to know of a ship's captain down on the waterfront, Ing, I think, who is trapped here. He has a big cargo rotting in his hold. I am sure he would pay a good sum to anyone who could close the great dam. Of course, being a stranger, he'd not be able to tell you that you'd need to go through the ruins which lie through the west gate. Tourists rarely know the lie of the land, you see. Minister Sheng remembers when flyers were reserved for the wealthy elite of the Imperial City. Now pirates use them to raid the countryside. Disgraceful. I suppose in theory you could find a flyer at the pirate camp upriver. In practice, however, I doubt you would find the pirates very accommodating. I suppose Rue the Bosun is mad enough to take you if he's drunk. Ooh, yeah. Rue is surely the only one who would make the trip. And then the pirates would kill you. Yes, yes, go and leave Minister Sheng alone to ponder his troubles. Now go close the great dam, and I never said that. Cool. Got a key. What is this tar thing here? And here it is. Yeah. Peasant man. Things have never been easy in Tian's landing. 
really? won't allow those slaving pirates to keep attacking Ing better figure out a way to get us out of here soon or I'm going is the Emperor really ten feet tall does he really float if Captain Ing can't get the ship out soon there'll be a mutiny a right bloody one too coconut <laughs> You leave this youngster alone, you cantankerous old goat. He looks like he could put you down without a thought. Might do us all a favor. Mm-hmm. Ah, get on with your day, youngster. We're just passing time. I'm Wei. Some call me Old Wei, but that's because they don't know Old Chan. If I'm old, he's ancient. He's at least a week older than me. Of course, we're both pretty old compared to most of the people in Tien's Landing. Why, most of them don't even remember what it was like before the flood. Away with you then, youngster. Turn your back on old way. Okay. Wait, loot. I need to check those gems. I need to check all of those gems. Everything I am, I owe to the Emperor. Ah, I see the glint of intelligence, nobility, wisdom, consideration, and piety in your eye. A fine day to you. What can I sell you? The fuck, nigga? Well, I make my living by knowing people. I can clearly see that you are of the finest sort. That is to say, the sort with silver ready in hand. Can I interest you in some seed? What about a pitchfork? I have hay as well. The fuck would I do with those? I'm afraid I do not. Uh, just a few years ago, you could find wind maps everywhere, although only the rich needed them with their airship racing. Recently, the wind maps have disappeared. I know that when the Emperor's men left Tien's Landing, they took all the wind maps with them. There are those who say... But it is not important. Some say that Death's Hand is collecting all the wind maps and destroying them so that only he and his minions may travel freely about the Empire. However, I do not believe such talk. I believe firmly in the goodness, kindness, and wisdom of our Emperor and all those around him. Of course you do. I suppose there may still be merchants in the Imperial City who have some, and they were once so widely available that there must be some here and there. But I do not have any, nor do I know anyone who has one. No. Very well. When you're ready to spend, I am ready to sell. Koni onuyu, koki yer tatasina. Sun puno onuyu si yer taikun pa ipanano pier ni wonun. Wono weir efu weir uk su norkfunir si yer sisitu. Sata afso weir uk napir ani yer ninpir. Owo sa yer u yukap tantarundano wo o tarwayer shafir owo.
wo kauso ir no ka wo o tarwe il shaks iru finu pifu. Wo no weir efu weir uk sum nork funi o si ir si situ. Sotha afso weir uk napir ani yir nin pir. Uso si ir uthak tarwe ir shafir o wosu. Owo sayer o yukap tantaro dano wo tarwayer shafir owo. Onu yu wir napayer wo kwayer shapshir fan onu yu sayer ikupan. Sayer sankut noka wo napar akwaifan u nakwayer kosu wayer. U kir rafir sasir sonsirapir. Onu yu wir napayer wo... Okay, so we need to get to the storehouse in Beggar's Pier. Which we will. Why the fuck? Wosiwania sa ia sakaku usawa ia nu pak poporo. Okniko fia apania sa sa tatasi no ni nano yok yo wea sonsi yea wo yo wea. Okniko fia apania sa sa tatasi no ni nano yok yo wea sonsi yea wo yo wea. Ni wupa ia kupu sa ia awath kraka ia nano uksaro iso wak mikano wo napia shatia uko. Ni wu sosawa ia wak tasi no ni nano yopa napia ifa ia ok. Ni wupa ia kupu sa ia awath kraka ia nano uksaro iso wak mikano wo napia shatia uko. Okniko fia apania so wo noa. Oh, if oh yeah, oh, good. I don't care what you say. I'm not doing it. Oh, so how we are me to? Good tata ya oka yowe ya phone ya sisa ya tulu up. Fuck off, bitch. Um. Okay, so I think the thirty minutes are up. Yep, it's been 34. So I'll sh I shall stop it here. And I'll see you guys next time. And we'll go talk to the sailors at Beggar's Pier. Which is this way? Yes, it's this way. So next time we'll go in there. And until then, goodbye.